What's up, Castle Clash Hirsch here, and I am on Becky's account. Becky is a White Knights AU member and an awesome account she has for sure. 157,000 might. She's fairly new to White Knights AU, but she's uh, melded in with our group really fast and become uh, you know, a real, real good contributing member. So I'm going to go ahead and jump on here and tag her base. You saw I added some gems so I could do this. I like to do this on the bases that I roll on, so give it some White Knight's love. Here, we'll put her put her right there. Yeah. White Knight's for the win. Hell yeah. Okay, so we're on this account because we want to win Here Be Monster T. This is definitely a strong enough account that it can do it. Uh, an amazing, amazing heroes here. 7 of 8 Berserk, 9 of 10 Pumpkin Duke, with 94 inscriptions, 3 Revive. 5-5 five, five, Revite, 9 of 10 Cupid, 3 Revive. We've got Multanica, 8 of 8 Life Drain. This thing is a freaking tank. 9 of 10 Breath Attack and 3 Revive. We've got Skull Knight, 5 of 8 Scatter, which is going to help on that big Molt when it comes in. 7 of 10 and 3 Life Drain. And then... She likes to call it Go-Go, Go-Go, <laughs> this is Golem, uh, Go-Go, 4 or 5 Enlighten at level 200, mine has, uh, mine had 5-5 five, five Enlighten, I put uh, 5 Bulwark on there, and I'm loving it there, but when I first won Here Be Monster T, I'm pretty sure I still had the Enlighten there, so uh, fairly comparable, 9 of 10 here, mine was only 8 of 10 when I won Here Be Monster T, and 3 Revive, so we've got the team that can do this. Oops, didn't mean to click on that. Um, so we've got this base here. Um, same basic setup, different walls, obviously. The heroes are turned sideways, but that's okay. But we've got uh, three groups of buildings, as you can see. And that's what's important, is that the heroes will attack one group or the other group and then go after the main buildings and uh, work their magic from there. So um, I think we've got it all set up. I put out the heroes how they should be. Let's go ahead and try it, see if we can do it. We got uh, five attempts of Here Be Monster T. Here we go. Attempt number one. We got uh, one wave coming in on the top and one on the left corner, so that'll give us plenty of time to work through one before getting to the other. I might, now that I see... So I've never done this, use this base, obviously, so I might need to make some minor adjustments, but so far it looks all right. I didn't like how the Pumpkin Duke took so long to get over there. Um, so I might need to move where Pumpkin Duke sits. But looking alright so far. It's going to take a while for those heroes to get around the base, which I like. Which means we're going to be able to handle taking out that Molt. And Mr. Gogo -Go will be able to give us some love healing our troops. Wow, that freaking Reaper just keeps coming back. Oh my god. Molt slowing them down. Skull Knight's going to walk over there and just take out that Snowzilla. And then we should be able to easily get through this Atlanta core. There we go. Uh, Molt's ready to proc, which will be awesome because that will slow down whatever comes from that direction. And uh, Cupid's ready to proc to give us full revite. Let's zoom in a little bit, see what we do. Hopefully our Pumpkin Duke will get stacked up in time for Vlad to get over there and take out. Yeah. Oh man, that Vlad and Gogo -Go combo is just insane. Eating through them so fast. What is up with these Reapers having revive? Jesus. That re that Reaper uh, popped back up as well. All right, hurry up and take out those damn copters, guys. That was that was a little ridiculous. You guys took way too long on that. All right, T3. Easy enough. Got there. Um, these waves are going to hit at the same time. I'm not liking that. But Vlad is ready to proc. So we'll get through the first one fairly fast. And Go goes over here on this side to take out those copters. Oh, yeah. Just eating through them. Eating through them. So our only concern here is that all these buildings that are remained are lined up so much. Because that means that... Uh, that big molt, if it's if it's online with that, will just wipe out all the buildings at once. So hopefully the molt comes from the side so that won't happen. Oh, here comes that big boss. Everybody's still got a little bit of a pumpkin duke proc, which will be nice. Oh, good. 
boss is going after, I'm assuming, Vlad. So we've got plenty of time for everybody to slow him down and take him out. Plus, we got Skull Knights scatter working. You can see the boss's energy was bouncing up and down. Here comes T5. Pray for a good spawn. Oh, my God. Those molts are coming right on line how I was talking. He's going to proc directly on line with that. So hopefully they'll be at just enough of an angle to avoid hitting all the buildings. That would be ideal. And it's not looking like it. Yep. Oh, man. Yeah, he was just angled just perfect to proc straight across all those buildings, unfortunately. All right, next attempt. Just do the same thing here. Hopefully we'll get a little bit better of a spawn on the end. Looking all right so far. Skull Knight's in there just eating them up. There's a go-go proc. Vlad did not even need to get involved with that one. T2. Oh, another proc right there at the entrance. Molt just taking out those copters. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, so that Thunder God hopefully will be procking on the Town Hall. Well, I mean, not hopefully. It will be because uh, just use, utilizing the Town Hall in the middle to attract its um, lightning is really helpful. Let's see if it go there. Boom, right on the Town Hall just as we expected. Perfect. If you put the Town Hall between a Thunder God and your troops, the Thunder God will always proc on the Town Hall. Fun fact. If you didn't know that, you should. It's something that you can utilize to your advantage. Gogo and Vlad about to just demolish that top group coming in, and I have a feeling our molt up there is just going to eat through the rest of these guys as they come around that corner. Boom. Yeah. That life drain, though. Stun Tower's almost perma-stunning this damn druid down here. It's taken forever to get around the corner. We got Pumpkin Duke ready to proc. We got Go-Go ready to proc. And a beautiful T3 spawn. Very, very big split. This is going to be real nice. Go-Go hopefully will take out those copters before they get in here and work on the towers too much, which we evidently need for... Oh, no, an Atlanta Corp proc. Oh, that's brutal. Brutal, brutal. Without Pumpkin Duke, we can't make it past the bosses on T4, so after this one ends, I'm just going to exit. And I'll go ahead and go. All right. We need Pumpkin Duke to stay alive. And that damn Atlanta core, that was just brutal. Okay, here be Monster T. We've got three attempts left. Let's do this. Hopefully we can get as nice of a spawn this round as we did last. Our guys are going to get through this top and head for that gold vault, so we will have both the edges this time. Perfect. Hopefully the Emorteps proc wears off before it gets to the walls because we don't want the Emortep to do too much damage to the walls, but looking good. Cupid, give us some love. Fill up that Vlad. There we go. Oh! That Molt procced and took out two towers in one blow. That was brutal. We'll need some luck on the next spawns to counteract that little bit of bad luck we just had there. I am liking this setup of heroes, though. This is this is awesome with uh, Molt and Skull Knight tanking on the bottom and Vlad and Gogo on the top. Ooh, taking out both our sides in T2. I was hoping we'd be able to conserve those at least for T3, maybe even T4. Vlad, perfect, taking out those copters, which are always the big concern when you're wanting to save towers for T5. But... We have very few buildings left over. We're definitely going to need some luck in the spawns to keep all these buildings alive. This group of flyers is going for the gold vault, so I'm not too stressed about them. Plus, our Vlad's about to proc right off the bat. But we did lose the gold vault. Damn it. I was hoping the gold vault would be conserved. 
T4, this wave should be easy enough as long as Spirit Mage doesn't proc and take out the buildings. Come on, Vlad, proc before the... Uh, we're just losing too many buildings. Too many buildings due to bad spawns. We're definitely going to be able to tank that as long as it's Skull Knight or Molt taking the hits. So I'm not too stressed about it. Go, go, giving us some love. Keep healing us. Go, go, come on. I think we've killed one. There's the other. Still have full health all around, thanks to Mr. Golem. Oh, and a good spawn. Please, oh, please take out the first one. Get over there, Pumpkin Duke. Get over there. Where are you, Pumpkin Duke? Why are you not getting in the middle of this? Why, oh, why are you not in this, Pumpkin Duke? Oh, God. Oh, brutal, brutal, just the wrong side, that was a beautiful spawn too, one on either side, we needed, we needed that, alright, that was good though, everything was good on that, just, we had some real bad luck losing a lot of buildings in the beginning, so we've got uh, two more attempts we can do, T is all about that luck guys, it's all about that luck. All right, T1 coming in. We've got a double split wave on the top and on the left. So plenty of time to work through one before the other gets there. I doubt we're going to lose hardly any, if any at all, interior buildings. Looks like we lost that one gold vault. And that should be it, thanks to the split. Vlad will proc before these. Reaper and dragons get uh, the gold vault down. Or the tower looks almost like they're going for the tower. No, they're going for the gold vault for sure. So get over there. Yeah, see. Oh, except for the Reaper is alive somehow. Come on, finish them off, Golem. Perfect. Much better on keeping buildings alive this time on T1 than we did last time, so that's a plus. I guess T2 will be the deciding factor on that, but Vlad is about to proc. Nobody to take out those copters, though. Come on, get over there and take out the copters. There we go. Thank you, Molt. And doing okay otherwise. I really don't like this line of buildings. We need to turn something sideways, I feel like. Just the, the molt procs that could come across that is really what you need to avoid. Go, go, proc right at the beginning. That is beautiful. Going to keep everybody alive. And the one-two punch of go, go, and Vlad is just insanely powerful. Oh, shit. The guys got inside. Who's over there defending the entrance? What is going on, troops? T3 loss. All right, let's take a look at this base. See what we can do. Do we have enough? It's 1, 2, 3 by 3. So technically, we could turn it sideways if we wanted. Let's clear out the exterior. And let's go like this. What do we want to do? Molt in the middle. Bring Vlad back. No, we want Gogo -Go in the middle because he's ground troop. Not a flyer. There we go. And then we'll put Pumpkin Duke in the middle and Skull Knight on the right. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now we got to get all these buildings back in there. Take you front and center. Flank you on either side. Come on, we got... Too many little decorations inside there. One, two. There we go. Gold Vault. Oh, more decorations. 
maybe like that. Does that give us the room we need? Yeah, there we go. Gold vault on that side. Get these decorations out. And gold vault. Oh. Right there. Then we have you. What is blocking our way there? Oh, there's a piece of wall. There we go. And you can go there. Is that all the buildings? Looks like it. Got enough room for one more building. Might as well. Okay, so that should be plenty enough stuff in there to be able to take a few hits. Let's try that. Don't like how close these buildings are to the wall, but I don't want to push these forward either. I say let's go for it. Let's give it a try. Last attempt. Here we go. Ooh, spawn right at the start. Good, went through it all. Kept everybody alive, had a go-go proc. Looking all right so far. Ooh, that scared me for a second. I was afraid we would lose like Pumpkin Duke. Why is there a wall in the middle of that mess? <laughs> all right, come on guys, give me some love. Give me some procs. There you go, Vlad. Eat through that dumb reaper. Do not allow the frickin' Atlanta quarter proc, thank you. Perfect. See, now we've got a good wide setup. Lots of different directions for the buildings to be so that the big molts can't just proc down the line. Looking okay so far. Oh, I don't like that Skull Knight just jumped out. Good thing he's a tank. And an awesome tank at that. Look at him just eating through those heroes over there. No. So bad. Spirit Mage is proccing because Skull Knight's out of the walls. No. My bad. I think we still have everybody alive, but we lost too many buildings because of that Spirit Mage proc. Go, go. Hurry up and proc. Please. Thank you. Kill them. Kill them all. Don't let the Spirit Mage proc. Don't let the Atlanta Corps proc. There we go. Much better. Alright, T4. We're sitting pretty. Ooh, both waves came from the same direction. It's actually okay, because our Vlad's ready to proc to take out the flyers. And all the ground troops are going to walk, walk all the way around to get to Vlad and go go. Hell yeah. Looking good, looking good. Yeah. Hurry up, Pumpkin Duke. We need you to get in there. <laughs> oh, there's a break in the walls. Is that where that extra wall come from? Damn it. It's okay. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Go, go. We'll keep us alive. We can tank these bosses. Yeah, easily tank those bosses. Holy shit. These heroes are impressive. T5. Oh shit, one boss right there. Come on, we need your scatter. We need your scatter. Keep our buildings alive. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Keep our buildings alive. 
Keep our buildings alive. No! Fuck! So close. We had that first boss almost dead. If he, if we would have just been a little bit faster at taking that first boss down, we would have been able to tank the second boss before it could kill all the buildings. God damn it. I think that's it for our Here Be Monsters, huh? Alright guys, well that's it for this video. We'll be back on this account next time, I'm sure, to try it again. Thanks for watching everybody. I'm out. Bye.